What is going on guys? Select here, bringing you a brand new series uh, to the channel. This will be the first of a, a couple new ones uh, in the works. This one will definitely get kicked off first. Uh, I kind of want to focus this game as this is one that I have been playing for uh, a decent amount of time. I know this is not the newest uh, version of the draft date. Uh, sports college basketball games the 2018 version I know 2019 just came out but at the moment uh, I don't really have the money and I don't really I don't really feel like getting it considering I mean there's not too much of a difference I know there's a new layout and a couple new things but you know this will do uh, as I said this is the draft day sports college basketball 2018 uh, and uh, this will be uh, my career so um, let's get right into it so, uh, I am a 24-year-old. I played college basketball. Got a little backstory here. Played college basketball three years at the University of American. Uh, my fourth year, grad transferred to Louisville uh, and played off the bench. Uh, but right when I was done, something that my head coach of previous, when I played for the team, uh, got me into was coaching. And I quickly became the second assistant on the team. Uh, but things changed as my as the former head coach took a new job uh, I was called upon as a second assistant to take over the first assistant went somewhere else with him or went with him to a new job and uh, I have been called upon to be the head coach of uh, the American Eagles um, as you can see we kind of have a, a decent set of skills good on defense something that I was always good on uh, in college, uh, offense, I still need to work on, and then these recruiting, scouting, to player development, uh, it's new to me as a coach, we'll see what we can do. Uh, my philosophies as a player, I was a very slow offensive player, so we're going to keep that together as we play as a coach. Uh, player preference, I uh, was definitely in the mindset that veterans should get a little bit more emph uh, over youth. Um, uh, when we play f played back in when I played, we played on full court D, and we were always in intense on the defensive side. We always crashed the boards. We always had, we had a pretty deep rotation for a, a pretty small school. Uh, we played zone, and we were a uh, we definitely crashed the boards on defense. So I'm just gonna go through this all together. We have our staff. Uh, we have our first assistant for scouting. Uh, not the greatest, although I don't know that I can change. Um, what they do, uh, I might be able to. I don't remember if that's a thing. Um, but if I can, I definitely want uh, my second assistant on Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'd throw him on practice. Uh, that's actually good. That's probably really the only assistant. I mean, I know he has fi almost 50 offense ability, but. Uh, having a guy with good player development and some decent offensive and defensive abilities uh, would probably be more suited for the practice squad, although his recruiting and scouting is pretty solid. So I guess we can leave that for now. Um, so you can get right into the roster. Uh, it looks like we have all right, two point guards. We got uh, Erwin Wilkins. Uh, let's see, a senior. 21 years old, good on GPA, so don't need to worry about him. Uh, let's see, pretty good outside shooter, decent at the free throw line, not incredible. Uh, decent ball handling, doesn't really shoot well inside, so definitely have to keep him on the outside. Uh, I could play man to man in a zone, so that's good to know. Uh, the one we have Sean Largent, uh, another one, another point guard, uh, another senior, so we definitely probably are gonna want to get a point guard. Uh, in this recruiting class uh, Let's see so decent potential, but doesn't really matter. He's only gonna be here for a year and you can't really redshirt him. So uh, He's definitely not as good as Irwin um, Not as great outside pretty much the same in the free throw line passing could use some work ball handling's okay Nothing crazy got good discipline athleticism uh, and kind of the same thing you could play uh, like our like Erwin before him uh, the shooting guard we have another senior so we have some decent amount of seniors on this roster 
Uh, another pretty good player. Good off outside shooter again. Probably shoot three pretty well. Uh, not great from the free throw line. Not really a ball hinder. Good athleticism. Um, please good on the zone and man to man. Well, all around good player. Could be a rotation piece. But this, uh, I believe, is our is our big gun, Kareem Martin, freshman, six one. Uh, good free, th really good free throw shooter. Good, uh, decent from the outside. Uh, good ball handler potentially if we can get him growing. Uh, and then discipline, court intelligence, really, really solid. Uh, still has to learn the uh, the game plan or the uh, what do you call it? the strategy that we'll be running this year. Uh, but he has got very good potential, and if we can keep him here for four years, he could be a solid piece and getting American uh, up up the prestige in uh, in terms of um, uh, the overall college landscape. Uh, next we have James Porter. That was you know, Kareem Martin. James Porter. Uh, I believe I have redshirted him. Let me just make sure. Uh, I have not. Okay. Um, James Porter. Uh, decent potential. Nothing too crazy. He's only a one star now. Uh, he's good from the outside. Not great from the free throw. He could, this one could get up there. But again, same thing. He's probably not going to see the uh, rotation this year. Uh, he might, but definitely... Definitely not. Uh, we have sophomore Mark uh, Noyola, a pretty s solid all-around player. Uh, he'll definitely come off the bench. Just looking at what he can do, um, he's kind of already got the system in place with him uh, in terms of what we're going to be running this year. Uh, good athleticism as well. So it's good to know. Okay. Uh, we have the I believe these are small forwards we're getting into. Yep. Uh, we have Cedric. He, outside of shooting the three, is not a very good player. He's not a very good defense, scoring, not great, passing, not great. Uh, he probably won't see the court this year, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, we have Lou Morris, uh, freshman. Uh, he could be one of the potential players that I put the... Yes, okay, so he was one of the players that I put the... Uh, the red shirt on. Uh, so he could definitely develop as the season or as the years go on. Uh, we have a lot of time to work with him. The next player, we have David Wilson, uh, another one of the guys who put the red shirts on. Another freshman, uh, decent inside, but doesn't really seem to have very much upside. But his reboundings could get better. He's drawing. He could draw some more fouls. He gets some better discipline, some stealing. So we could definitely use him. Uh, Potentially next year, honestly, if he is good to go. Sophomore JP Mitchell. He's an all-around okay player. Uh, nothing terrible. Uh, probably going to run off the rotation as the season goes on. Uh, we have another power forward in Wesley Clawson. This guy probably won't see the court this year, if I'm being completely honest. He's not that great in really anything. Um, yeah, I mean, he knows our system, but... And again, I really don't want to play a guy who's really not got much. Same thing goes for Charlie Edwards, a freshman. No upside, no potential. Uh, this guy probably won't see the court as well. I wouldn't be surprised if both these two either transfer or just off the team within a couple of seasons. Uh, power forward. Uh, we have a junior, Terrence uh, McDermott. Um, another guy who I believe is actually a walk-on. I could be wrong. Yeah, so these are our two walk-ons. Uh, they're not great, if I'm being completely honest. They are not great. So uh, another guy you probably won't see the court this year. Uh, center junior, JT Alston. Uh, sadly, he's a junior, so you can't redshirt him. Uh, so he probably will play this year. He's got some good potential, so if he can grow into it within the, the year, he could be a very useful asset. Uh, next year, in, uh, when some of these guys kind of progress further along. Uh, but who will be starting in our center is junior Chris Owens. Uh, a very solid player. Good on the inside, good on the outside. So it will be very useful to have. Uh, could, could draw some pretty good fouls. Have him for another season if he doesn't leave. I don't think he would. Uh, but we do have uh, a good amount. A pretty solid roster for our first season. Uh, all right, depth rotation. We'll get, right into the, we'll get into that when the season kind of comes around. Same thing with strategy. Uh, 
recruiting though is kind of the first thing you do the schedule at the setup um, team info is all good yep history all right let's move on so we have the reports uh, we have 85,000 uh, personally I think I'm just gonna get the Atlantic East basic edition uh, this doesn't show as good of um, <clears throat> Ratings doesn't really give you as much information as the Gold Star does, but we don't really have the budget to go for the Gold Star, and it would kind of seem useless to. <coughs> excuse me. Um, it would be useless to kind of go for more. No point in really go for the Southeast. Really only get guys out of uh, the Washington and uh, Washington D.C. and Virginia area. So. You have new mail. We'll advance through for that. Uh, do I turn off that sound? I think I will. Uh, travel schedule. Yep. Let's see. Do we have anything else? Oh, scheduling notice. That's right. So let me call the athletic director and let's set up a schedule. Um, I personally don't know what this team's gonna be like. I don't know if we're any good. Um, I kind of want home softies. If I'm being completely honest. Um, anything else in the mail? Scheduling notice. Yep. Uh, budget. Purchase. Okay, yeah, all right, we're good. So summer travel schedule. Um, I could attend the camp, and I think I might. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and attend this camp. We'll definitely save our money. We definitely want to use that later. Recruiting begins. Okay, so let's go to recruit. All right. Um, by position, not watching. All right, with interest. Uh, recruits, update. So let's see. So we have interest from a couple guys. So all right, let's go through the roster and make sure we know what we need. So we definitely need a point guard. Uh, we could use a new center, a uh, small forward, We're semi young, but we could definitely use some players. But I think point guard should be our main focus if we're being um, completely honest. Uh, I don't need your watching. I need interest. Yep. Okay. So we have out of is it Virginia? Yep, Isaac Bush. You get two and a half interest. So add to the call list, add to the watch list. Um, we do not have a lot of money. Or no, we do have a lot of money. We saved a lot. So we're going to go ahead and watch film. Uh, we'll see what we could do later when it comes to hosting recruits. Um, Next, I kind of want to get the home guys. Do we have anyone else in the region? Not really. Uh, center. Um, Scotty Martin. School's low. Points per game, 13. Nationally, he's 1,400. So, uh, he could be... He could be useful. We'll, we'll throw him on the list. Um, let's see. Uh, Morris, anything good here? 900, so he could actually be not that bad. Now, if we got the gold edition, we know, I think, a couple of his top 10 schools. Uh, we know a couple more ratings, a couple more pitch categories, see what he kind of likes. Um, and then I believe we get the parent info as well, but we don't really have the money for that, so we don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, maybe if we, if we get the school up there in a couple years, we could definitely go for some gold editions. Um, all right, so we have three guys from here. Anything else? Um, I kind of want a power forward as well. So we'll go ahead and add him. I kind of get one more, and then I think we'll look to advance a day and see what we can see. Um, do I go for the small forward from Virginia? Uh, for from Vermont? My bad. Uh, seventeen nationally. I don't know about that. 17,000 national my say person uh borrow is you know, same thing I really want that Tinsley 1700 average is 16 half per game 3.8 assist decent player um we'll add him to the call list and we'll see what we can find um I think that's all we need to do um you're watching or no on the call list that's it yeah So if we you know, click on him, I believe we can call player. Um, could talk about, so let's talk about some parent info. Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay. Call 
player. Uh, parent info. Good coach. You know, you kind of remind me. My math teacher I always falls asleep in his class. So, okay, well, that's not good. Pitch areas. Um, we have nothing. Academics. And, okay, so he hung up on us. That's fortunate. All right. Bush. Parent info. Sorry, coach. I don't know what to say about that. Okay. Pitch areas. Uh, academics. Location. Coach, you know, you're kind of running with my teacher. I suppose because I could come for siege. Pay attention. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to bribe him. Uh, interest level. Well, coaches right now. You guys really aren't in the mix. I don't know if it will change or not over time. Okay. Uh, pitch areas. Let's just go to academics. Sorry, coach. I don't know what to say about that. Playing time. And that's our call. Okay. Uh, Morris. I'll call you. Parent info. Nope. Okay. Same thing. Nothing to talk about there. Uh, let's go to academics. And he hung up on us. Sarah, of course, it is. It's going to be a little rough getting some of these guys. Uh, same thing. I do like learning. See if they do enjoy parents. And he hung up. All right. Cool. So we'll advance a day. Uh, we probably didn't get much out of that, if I'm being completely honest. Um, yeah, we probably really didn't. If anything, we probably pissed him off. Uh, seems to be a reincurring theme when it comes to recruiting. Uh, didn't really change much. We have Bush. Uh, we could scout live. Let's call. All right, so good. Good to call. Or good to hear from us. That's always good. Uh, pitch areas, we don't know too much yet. Actually, no, wait, let me um, go back. Bush. Um, I forget how we can do that. Um, we're going to watch film, get more to know about him, and I think we're going to scout him live, just because he seems to be one of the only guys really interested in us. Jenkins looks like he could be a good player, so we'll do the same thing there. Morris, Scout, and Watch Live, and then the other two, we're just going to get some more footage of them. Uh, yep, okay, and then we'll go and call, so we'll see what they want. Uh, good to hear from me, perfect, alright, so he's not that pissed off about yesterday. Demix, and he hung up, alright, sweet. So, looks like we're kind of uh, not doing well so far. Okay, well, I live both my parents, they're both pretty nice people, good, neither of them attended your school, we don't have a lot of money, but we managed to get by all these years, alright, cool. Discipline, coach discipline is on the bottom of my produce. Okay, so that's good to identify. Um, academics. Academics is going to be a factor. It's just not the only thing that I'm considering. Okay. Playing time is not a big concern. That's good location. And hung up. Okay, so we learned, we learned a lot about him. <clears throat> I can't call him because we called him today. Or, yeah, we called him today. Uh, Morris. Parent info, you know, you kind of remember. Okay, so he's still not giving us anything about that. Academics, nope. And he hung up. All right, so he's really, he probably doesn't want to come here, being honest, uh, but we'll keep trying. Uh, not much to say. Okay, academics. Matt teacher again. This one, not a big concern. And hung up. All right, so let's move forward. All right, so we're on the seventh. Uh, let's go back to Bush. Seems to be our kind of our big player, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, uh, nothing has changed. Okay, let's move forward. Ninth. All right, so that was camp. So go back to recruits. Still, okay, still hasn't advanced the week, I don't think. The 11th is the week advanced. It has. Okay, so we have seen. Do we still only have two interests? Still no threes. Um, do we have any new interested players uh, that we have not scouted out we have a shooting guard from roll or uh myron roll from connecticut All right ct yeah connecticut uh we'll add to the call list we'll watch this film we'll see 650 he could be if he wants to come here man i could definitely use that um and then anything else uh the virginia area seems to be a hot spot croom yeah, we'll go watch this film as well. Okay, so we'll go back to our on the call list. Uh, all right, so let's go Tinsley. Uh, we've learned a little bit about him. So he's a B scorer. Uh, see the passing, ball handling, not great at rebounding, decent defense, not great at shot block, 
not good steal or inside shooting. Outside shooting is an A, so that's always a plus with uh, the point guards. Uh, decent free throw, good athleticism, and overall is a C. Uh, okay, um, we did not scout him live last time, I do not believe, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we don't need to host him yet, but we do need to host him at some point. Alright, so M Scotty Martin, a guy that I actually really want just based on the fact he's a center. I feel like centers are pretty big uh, in the college game. He's a C overall. He's not bad at scoring passing. Terrible ball handling, so definitely off the ball kind of player. Decent rebounding, not good on defense, so he would be a defensive liability coming into the team. And he's not good at athleticism, no good free throw shooting, so he could be... Well, he's good inside, decent outside, not great stealing, good, good shot blocking. Uh, we'll see what he can do. I'm not really sure if he's going to be that great. He could be good. Um, Roll. Yeah, we don't want to scout him live yet. We just want to learn some things about him. Jenkins. Uh, we've already scouted him live. We can go do it again. See, overall, not great scoring. Decent, solid, or decent passer. Not great ball handling. Good rebounding. Not great defense. Decent shot block. Decent steal, good inside shooter, great outside shooter, and then some not so great athleticism and free throw shooting. So that's always a, a negative. We got Morris. We'll go watch him again. Again, not a good scorer. Good passer, good ball handling. So he could be a, a definitely an on the ball kind of guy. Uh, he could start with the ball and definitely pass it down low, get, dish out. He could definitely be one of those kind of guys for us at the point guard position. Uh, rebounding, defense, shot blocking, not great. Passing, or sorry, stealing, good. Uh, inside shooting, not great. Outside is actually very good. Uh, and his C overall, good at less, not great from the free throw line. So it's a little bit of a annoying. Uh, all right, then we have Bush, the only other guy with any sort of interest in us. Again, not a good shooter. Good pass, good ball handler. So again, another on the ball or start with the ball kind of guy. Not good defense, that kind of annoys me. Not good shot blocking, not good rebounding. Solid, solid, uh, very good outside shooter, terrible free thrower, uh, free throw shooter. Good athleticism, though, so that could be useful. Um, and we'll actually, oh, okay, so he's declined to visit, so we still got to work on him. All right, so now let's go through and let's call these guys. So we have Tinsley. Pitch area, so we have nothing left. Discipline is very important to me, big factor in my decision, so good. So I'm a very disciplined kind of coach, so that could help. Don't have much to say about academics, playing time. After my decision, it's not the only thing I'm considering. Location, I don't have much to say about that. Okay, and facilities. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna end call. Okay. Uh, Martin, let's go ahead and call him. Pitch areas, so prestige. I'm gonna say about that. Location, playing close to home is very important to me. Plays Pennsylvania. DC is not that far. So if we can convince him, we could definitely do something with him. Uh, we're gonna end call. I'm not gonna do any bribes. I really don't want to deal with the the NCA committee going after me. So uh, we're not even we're not even gonna attempt that. Uh, in terms of so you can't go into bribes, gear, entertainment system, hang with school slab. That's pretty freaking. That's kind of scary. Or uh, not scary. That's kind of sad. Cash, just ten thousand dollars. Campus apartment and car. It's it's all useful, but uh, nothing I'm going to do. I don't want to mess with it. I kind of want to keep this, uh, uh, I won't say realistic, because, I mean, there's a big scandals in real life, but I kind of want to keep it as clean as possible, is uh, the word I was looking for. All right. Uh, bottom of my priority list. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Academics, don't have much to say. Playing time factor, but not the only thing. Considering location, and he hung up. Okay. All right, Bush. All right, pitch area, so he didn't really learn much, and he hung up after academics, so that's always good. Morse. Uh, discipline, and he hung up as well. Okay, so that's the end of today. Let's move on. Summer camp. Let's get to the... I uh, don't believe we have any more time. Yep, okay, so let's get to the end of next week. Alright, so we've learned some new things about some new guys. Uh, we have Roll. Uh, this is shooting guard. Terrible inside shooting. That's not great. Um, I don't really that great of a player. He's ranked 650 nationally. Which is kind of interesting because he doesn't seem like he's that good. Uh, but I don't know enough about him yet to really say that. So... 
See overall. Okay, recruiting notes. Uh, we still have some things to learn about him. I have some knowledge of the shuffle offense. Okay, one two two zone or one two one one zone. High post offense. Okay. Uh, keep going with this. Keep watching some film. We gotta learn some more about these guys. Uh, we have Bush. Let's see if we can grab. I definitely want to get Bush. He's the only one with. Actually, no. We got Jenkins up. Uh, to a two, two star interest. I guess you can call them stars. I'm just gonna, no, I'll just equate them as stars. Um, and the last guy, Tinsley. All right, so we'll start roll because these are kind of the best players. Kind of want to get more about these guys first. Uh, pitch areas, discipline. Okay, academics be a big factor. Something that I'm considering. Any hung up after I talked about location? So that's always good to know. Uh, Jenkins. Pitch areas. All right, so we've learned his discipline. Doesn't care about academic. Seems like and he hung up after location. So same thing as roll. Morris up next. Uh, pitch areas. We have academics and he hung up. That's always unfortunate. Uh, Bush. All right, so I don't really care about that. All right, Bush, you're being a bit of an ass, to be honest. So, move on to Kroom. Doesn't really want to see anything from us. Parent info. Well, okay, well, they're both my parents. They're really strict and over being. Sometimes neither of them attended your school. We don't have a lot of money, but eventually buy all these years. All right, cool. Pitch areas. We've learned about that. Uh, Aaron is not a big concern. 2.7 GPA, so that's always good that he's at least passing. Uh, not much to say about that. We'll close him off. Martin, last guy we'll talk to, uh, general info parents, did not want to talk to me. Okay, so that's always unfortunate. Uh, let's see, I think it's the end of the week. Oh, it is. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll go ahead and check on the interest level again. Two guys we are not looking at, uh, but these guys are terrible. So they're ranked 17th in the country. Winslow is a junior college player, or Tinsley, my bad. Um, so I'm gonna take you off the call list. Yeah, I'm gonna take him off the call list because he doesn't really need to be on there anymore. He's not really that great of a player, if anything. And everyone's a C overall. I mean, he averages 16.2 points a game, and. Eh. Nah, I, I don't really want a junior college player anyway. Uh, yeah. All right, let's move on with the watching. All right, so we don't have much on him, but we're going to go ahead and watch and scout live. Watch and scout live, watch and scout live, watch, watch, watch. Can we host any of these guys? Jenkins? Declined invitation, declined invitation. Okay, so we'll go back to that later. Um, let's go ahead and talk to them. Move to next week, okay. Can I call them yet? No, not letting me call them. Oh, that's right, okay, so we're up to a quiet period. Uh, really, the only thing we can do is just watch film. About it. Okay, we have Bush with three star. Can we host him yet? Still unwilling to come to our school, which is sad in a way. Uh, means we're not doing enough, but we'll, we'll keep watching these guys film to learn a little bit more about them. Uh, just see if, what they're good at, what they're bad at, uh, what kind of offenses and defense they can run, because that's always a big thing to learn. Uh, if we have to kind of teach them uh, if they kind of come in, or if they're going to right, know right off the bat what kind of offense we're going to run. Uh, which, by the way, we'll get to when we get more into the season, as I stated before. Okay, so we have lost all interest as the reevaluation period has come through. This is where everyone kind of gets reevaluated, uh, if I can remember correctly. So Jenkins is the top guy. We'll watch. Still declined to visit. I would like to talk to them, but 
doesn't seem to, uh, I'm just in a quiet period. Um, is there any, like, I forget. Okay. Um, okay. Quiet evaluation dead. I wish contact. That's the one we're waiting for. Okay. Evaluation contact. Okay. Yeah. 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 So early letter of intent, late letter of intent. Okay. There's the thing I forget. I haven't played this game in a little bit. Uh, I don't think any of these guys want to be hosted, which is unfortunate, really. Still don't want to offer them a, a, uh, a scholarship until they're kind of ready to come play for me. Um, until then, uh, we kind of want to wait. So we'll keep trying. We'll see if we can get them to want to come. Doesn't seem like anyone really wants to come. And still none. Okay. For the 21st next week. Uh, not great. Still in the quiet period. Um, we get with interest. I want to see if there's any more updates. Uh, we still have those two who are really bad. Tinsley's up to a 1600, but again, not nothing great. Uh, we'll go back to the waitlist. Okay. Jenkins, still. No, we're getting to that point where I'm, I'm going to need to offer some scholarships. We have three, so we'll. I believe we have three. I could be wrong about that, but. We'll definitely need to offer a scholarship at some point. It's unfortunate that no one seems to want to uh, come here yet. I don't blame them, though. I mean, it is a small university. These guys probably have big aspirations, so. Alright, we are sixth on Jenkins' list. That's good to know. We're getting there. Uh, we still cannot talk to them because we're in the quiet period, which is frustrating because I really do want to talk to these guys. Uh, Kroom, we don't know anything about it. Morris, we're ninth on his list, so that's good to know. Uh, when it comes to offering scholarships, Jenkins and Morris will probably be the first guys because they're most likely to come here. Six, okay, so Bush as well, but even that is still a stretch. We don't know if they'll be here or not. Um, okay, so he's gone down. He's down to 11 points per game. He's up to 14, so Kroom could be the guy. Martin's at 13 and a half for big. That's pretty good. 5.5 uh, rebounds. It's pretty solid. Good good blocks. So is Jenkins. And decent steals. Good steals for Bush as well. Uh, and Roll. Also another pretty good stealer. All right. I believe we're at the 4th. Yep, September 4th. We are in quiet period still. I don't know when it ends. I could be wrong, but evaluation thing is when we get to talk to them again. I could be wrong. Uh, but we definitely need to start being able to talk to these guys. Okay, so we have good interest. Jenkins. All right, so this was another reevaluation period. Roll up to 1100 to McCroom. Jenkins has interest. It's 1300. Uh, so these guys are all improving. So that's always good. Morris, and then these two still have no interest. Cannot host yet. Cannot host yet. Now not willing for me to, to come here, which is unfortunate. I really want like Jenkins or Bush to come here, because I could definitely use them coming to the school. Uh new little watch list quick recruiting. Uh, yeah. Go to the 11th. We are in contact period, so I believe we can now call them if it, the game would let me. Uh, recruit. Can I call them yet? Oh, I can visit. That's right. Okay. Um, this would be considered. So we can pitch. What is this guy kind of like? He's very high on, or he's pretty decent in academics. So we're going to head to roll. Actually, no, let's go for the guys that want to come here, Jenkins. So we know <clears throat> playing time is not an issue. Let's go watch film and then academics. We'll go and see if that will do it for us. Uh, Chrome, we'll try and see if we can host these guys. I doubt we will. Martin, 
Again, we'll just see if we can host. Can't. Morris. All right, seven. So he loves the facilities. So we'll just talk about. Uh, and see. We'll talk about conference. Shit. Um, I don't really want it because the facilities aren't that great. Conference prestige is not great. We're playing the Patriot League. It's not a great conference location. He's in North Carolina. Uh, okay, we'll go location and we'll, again, we'll just keep watching just to learn more about the players. Uh, academics, we'll definitely go for academics because we are just by looking at our roster earlier, we definitely have good academics at this school. So keep that up. Uh, let's move on. Oh, okay, so we're up to the scheduling phase. Uh, Bush, three, Morris has dropped out. Doesn't care about prestige. All right, uh, let's see if we can try to get conference prestige. Not gonna host him. We'll watch film. All right, let's talk about the facilities. Visit. Can I host him yet? Still is declined. Martin. I want to talk about location. And I'll go visit him. We'll see if we can get him. Come on here, Jenkins. Uh man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pitch anything. We'll see if we can just get him, and then we'll watch these two again. All right, so we're up to scheduling. So now we have a, a schedule we can work with. Uh, we have how many games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so we have nine out of conference games. I wish we could do more. Maybe like eleven would be nice. But okay. Uh, so we at home at Santa Clara, uh, on the road at UMBC, VMI, uh, at home it's Columbia, Stephen F. Austin, on the road to Nebraska Omaha, at home it's Liberty, it's a terrible logo, uh, at home it's Hartford, and at home against Pacific, and then we start conference play. Uh, do we want to add any good teams here? Maybe place VMI for like a good school like let's say we swap game with at Ohio State maybe we go actually no let's go Texas Tech because they aren't ranked I don't really want to play a ranked team if I'm being honest all right play Texas Tech scheduling is done we go back to recruiting we're still in the what no September to all right so we're in the contact period uh, Bush and Jenkins seem to kind of be the guys that we can get. Uh, we'll visit again. Still declined. I'm going to offer him a scholarship, and I'm going to offer you a scholarship. I'm going to, again, for Jenkins, I'm going to go about location. Oh, no. It's Martin that was location. All right. Uh, I'll just talk about location, see if that does anything. It probably won't. Uh, Martin. I'll go back out there. I do want to try to get this guy. We'll see if we can get location. Decline to visit again. It's unfortunate. All right. Let's visit you about facilities. We'll see if we can get you back on. Those two doesn't seem to want to join in, but we'll continue forward. Oh, we have a verbal commit. Isaac Bush. Uh, we do get our first commit. That is good. Uh, we do get a player finally into October, so that's very useful. Jenkins Martin has gone up there. Uh, Chrome has wow, Chrome has went from a really good player to nothing. Jenkins has this as his number two. We have offered how many? Okay, so we offered you a scholarship. We'll offer you again. Still does not want to come. Bush, I don't believe we need to do anything. We can just keep watching film on him. We'll talk about location. Uh, God. Uh, we'll talk about academics. Watch film. I'm gonna offer him a a uh, scholar contract, a scholarship. Uh, we're gonna go visit Chrome, and we'll talk about playing time. Jenkins. We have two left. Um, we're gonna talk about academics. We'll go and visit him. Still probably just want to come here. Yep. And then roll. We have one left. Talk about academics with him, and we'll go ahead and visit. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next week. All right. Ooh. Okay. So roll really liked us. Uh, that's good. 
Uh, Chrome and Morris seem to be out of it. They don't really want to come here, which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll give Jenkins, Roll, and Mark. Okay, so we cannot offer three. We only have three scholarships, which is unfortunate. Um, he's only on the 10. Roll doesn't have us. You have at the two. You're our number one, obviously. So we'll go ahead. Still doesn't want to come. Just keep watching. It doesn't really matter. Make a difference. Uh, decline to visit. Decline to visit. And we'll just watch you again. All right. We'll see if we get anyone coming out of this week. Recruiting players. Still only have one verbal, which is frustrating. All right, roll. Jenkins. Uh, let's see. Anything new on these guys? Contrary to mention, how important is close playing homes to him. Facilities, the top priority. Selecting school for the sun. Here's your best His work ethic. That's good. Uh, roll. Mm, definitely spends a lot of time beyond the arc. Doesn't seem to care much about college prestige. Basketball coach said he doesn't have any problems with injuries, so that's always good. Okay, so let's still can't host him. We'll offer him. All right, this time we're gonna offer Martin. See if he wants to come here. All right, let's see if that does anything. Still only one commit with Bush. It's unfortunate. Uh, we are up to practicing, so that we will need to check in. Uh, we're still going to keep trying to offer these guys scholarships. We'll see if they accept. They probably won't. Which is really unfortunate. Still res resisting to come to the school. Uh, I believe we're almost into the start of uh, what would be the season. Uh, right in November, middle of November, uh, the season will start. And that will be next video. As, uh, we still go through conference. Uh, we still go through the rest of recruiting. Um, still doesn't want to come here. It's kind of sad. I still would like to host him just to get him used to the, the campus and the facilities and everything, but, uh, I guess he won't. He does not want to come, which is sad. Uh, all right. Let's see. So we're up to November 6th. Oh, he's too still. Not coming. You're up to a 10. I have dropped out of you don't know where you are which is just sad Jenkins has me the number two all right well I'm gonna stop offering roll because I feel like we still have a pretty solid player coming up in um not Irwin that's the point guard I can't remember his name let me look at it again uh Dren? nope it was uh Martin that's right uh Kareem Martin who will probably start for us this year and this guy as a freshman, so if we can keep him around for a while, he'd definitely be useful. Uh, as we get through to the red shirt and season. Alright, so recruiting, we're basically done. I'm gonna offer these guys a contract one more or a contract, uh, a scholarship one more time. Uh if they don't accept that's gonna be unfortunate. I would really like to get at least one of those guys. Okay, so our first game of the season. Uh, will be next episode as the season starts up. Let's just look at our schedule. Uh, our first game's on the 15th as we have Santa Clara come here, uh, which will be interesting. Uh, we won't play any ranked opponents this year unless Texas Tech gets climbed up. I doubt that, uh, just by the power, just by the, the rankings for the preseason. Uh, because this has been the first episode. We've only been able to snag one recruit, which is unfortunate. I really thought we could maybe get at least one of the bigs, Jenkins or Martin, doesn't seem like it. Uh, both of them still being stingy on coming here. Um, but yeah, uh, next episode we'll get into the first four games of the season. So we will take on Santa Clara, go to UMBC, to Texas Tech, and then head out uh, back home to face Columbia to end the second episode. Uh, and we will also beforehand go over our rotation, our depth, and our strategy. I'm showing you all of the nubbubs. Oh, this is where. Okay, so that's where we can change everything. Okay, so uh, we will get into that 
next episode. Thank you so much for watching the first one. Obviously, a little boring. Recruiting is tedious. Takes some time to get used to. Not easy, but we will get there. Uh, hopefully, we can recruit at least one more of those bigs and uh, start to bring in some pretty good players for next season. As always, this has been Select, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>